What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 40. Um, great to have a game out. You know, it's been having hella shows with no game. And now, finally, the game comes out. So, excited to talk about, you know, important things. And it's great to have a new game. Really, uh, really the most exciting time of the year for all of us. When we're all kind of bad at a new game and all trying to figure it out. And all trying to be the first people that really figure out what's best. And figure out how to get that, you know, that step up on the competition. And that, that's a big deal. And that's the point we're at right now, man. And we're all reacting to the game. Uh, some people overreacting. Some people underreacting. And I guess we got to find a medium balance, chat. We got to find what we hate, what we don't like, what's going to be bad, what's going to be good. We got to find that and pretty much, you know, help and complain in the right ways. Uh, but I, and, and one of the things I always hate about early in the year, honestly, is everybody seems to love the game. Other people say, hey, this is the best man ever. This game's awesome. Uh, I'm having so much fun. It's probably because we, you know, nobody's really broken the game yet. It's something that's not, it's really tough to uh, find something really negative about it. But, I mean, there's definitely some complaints that people have had the first week, and you guys in the chat, you can help me about what are some of the complaints you have about the game, what are some things you don't like and what are some things you like? You know, for me personally, uh, I I like a new game. I like I like finding new stuff. I like understanding how the game works differently from last year, but also understanding what what things are very similar to the year before. That's one of the most important things that we uh, you got to do as a Madden player. You have to go back and, and compare it to the last game, compare it to games two years ago. Like, what's still the same and what's different? What do I have to adjust to? And um, so it's a lot of big things, a lot of differences between Madden 18 or Madden 19 and Madden 20. And the biggest difference is the X factors. Uh, these like superstar abilities for these for the superstars, really. And it's pretty much, um, pretty much. I don't want to see as how the game is going to be played uh, because a mutt so far. Uh, after playing over 100 games of mutt, I don't think the X factors are that big a deal in mutt. But watching regs, I haven't played much regs, but between the pass rushing, the stuff that Tom Brady can do, and the arm bar, which is pretty much the number one thing we're going to talk about. Uh, and because it probably much has been the biggest topic of discussion I see on Twitter. People complaining they want the arm bar gone. They want it's too overpowering. Uh, so to me, uh, I just... I, it's... It's kind of a debate, and people are on both sides. Obviously, the armbar thing kind of relates to runners. It kind of helps runners be more high-powered, you know. And as you guys know, I don't like the run. You know, I don't think I think the run is something that keeps everybody in the same pot. You know what I mean? I think if everybody, if the run is good, it's going to be hard to differentiate the great players from the regular ones, really. And uh, so for me, I hate everything that just gives people other yards and I think something like the arm bar for me just gives the opponent yards you know and it just throws people out of the way and just gets these ridiculous animations that really don't require any type of outlandish skill you know you don't really need to do any it's probably the most the easiest even air trucking was kind of harder to do than to spam stiff arm so for me uh, giving people that can just spam a extra yards is definitely something that's tough, but uh, you know, and someone that uh, we all respect in the man community, um, when it comes to man and his opinions and everything, and that's Mo, and that's um, somebody that was really an opponent of, or he was he was very much for keeping the armbar. That was a good thing, and so I wanted to be like, you know, I want to give this same platform. To be able to talk to all of us, and especially people that I respect and friends of mine that I respect their opinion on Madden, love to talk about it. So hopefully Mo is here in this this Discord. Let me bring him in here. Yo, yo, what's the word, buddy? What's happening? I'm uh, chilling. You know, playing Madden. Yeah, I hear you. How you like the game? First of all, I enjoy it. I have, I have fun playing it. Yeah, you know, I don't think. Uh, Outside of everything, I think it's... I do think it's fun to play, you know what I mean? No, I always think it's fun to play, though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. 
but when we when when uh you know when things start get getting rolling, I'm sure we're gonna notice some some things we don't like. Yeah, more some so worse than... things as the year goes on. It's just you start noticing some worse and worse stuff. So what are some yeah. things that you like like at the game and dislike? Um, I like how you know I I felt like years prior your players would feel like kind of heavy. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like you wouldn't have much control of them. I feel like you got a lot of control of your players. You know, I, I definitely feel like, you know, as far as like the lurk goes, like, I think that it needed to be changed. You know I mean? I thought, I did think it was way too easy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you just sitting there holding Y, you coming down off a post to a drag, like in no time, you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought that was, that was ridiculous, but they overdid it. You know what I mean? Like, now I just think it's a little and like we're giving these like ath these these ath like some of the most athletic players in the ability, no athleticism really. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you just have no no opportunity to pick the ball off a lot of the times. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so, I think uh, it's it's gonna make it tough. You know what I mean? And I think that like a, I know a lot of people are playing mutt, and not not many people are playing regs. But you know, like once like everybody's all over the armbar, which is like I get it. You know, the armbar is really really effective don't get me wrong i'm not i'm never gonna say it's not but once once things get rolling and somebody finds a blitz that's gonna come in there's gonna be no no reason to use any other team but the chiefs just because the stuff patrick Mahomes could do is like insane yeah like literally insane and no one's even talking about it because you can't use the chiefs right now because there's no pressure in the game mm -hmm. and their defense is terrible so it's like it's it's a really tough balance like Cause, cause in reality, like I, I heard you say, like you know, you don't, you don't think the, the run should be like ever be good or something crazy like that, which, I mean, is obviously a silly thing to say, but, uh, that, that, that is, that is a component of, of Madden, and uh, you need to be able to run the ball just like you need to be able to pass the ball. That, that should be a thing, you know, whether you believe it or not. Like, like for me, I would be okay. Okay, get the arm bar out of here. You know what I mean? Like, get it out of here. But, but, but when I run inside zone versus dollar with 40 overall safeties, I need my guard that's coming, running full speed at this 40 overall safety to put him on his ass. I don't want him to, I don't want him to just shove him right to where I'm running the ball because then, then that kind of takes away. So sometimes it's third and five, you know, I see a defense where I know if my guy makes this block hundred percent, I'm getting the first down. Yeah. But the yeah. problem is you don't know because you don't know what that 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 linebacker is gonna do or uh, that safety is gonna do to my highly overall rated guard. Yeah. So it really yeah. just completely takes away running the ball right there. Yeah. So you have to, th those 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 turning downs where you have to pass it, and that's just not how it should be. Yeah, but the, see that's where I, that's where I've always felt the run is is lucky because you don't know what animation you're gonna get. And you know you don't know. Okay, is the D tackle going to swim move to the left or to the right? Because if he swims moves the wrong way, I get ten yards. If he swim moves right, like, I lose one one yard. And there's nothing you can do to control that. It's completely on the game, right? No, that's the thing. Inside zone, the D tackle gets double teamed, so so we, I don't have to worry about him. I shouldn't have to worry about him. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, if we're going to talk about how things should be, and, and another thing about the armbar. Tell me one way you can make the computer miss an open field. You tell me one the way computer? right now. Yeah, oh, tell me how you can make the hell out of the computer. Get the f yes, get, you get out of here. Yes, I, if, Stop, you, if you don't click on it all, yes. You, you get juke like somebody time. said in the chat, jukebox. Like, that's one player, bro. Like, no, I feel like I can do it with any player. I can do it with bro, any, juke, like. The juke and the spin move, bro. Oh, the spin I'm move ass now. When, the, when somebody spins in the game, it literally takes two seconds for them to turn, like, get back turned around. Like you're never gonna you're never gonna make anyone miss it though. Right. The juke is terrible. No, I don't know. No, I feel like if, if and, I'm an and, and the juke is I'm... pointless to do because if you do juke, if anybody's any good, you're just gonna get hit sticked. Yeah, I mean, the juke is terrible. No, I like Let, not, if it's one on one. It. If it's one on one, I feel like I'm getting by the computer. If someone doesn't click on, I'm getting by the computer. I'm hitting the juke yeah, to get by the computer. Mind. Yeah, like if I throw a drag and there's one person there and there's one person and it's the, and they don't click on it all, you're one thousand percent getting juked. One thousand percent. Uh, the arm bar is, I mean, the arm bar is, is really good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say it's not really good, but to you guys make it seem like there's just no, there's no penalty. And that's just not true. If you, if you watch somebody try to arm bar and they're just sitting there tapping a, look at their stamina. It looks bad. Yeah. But then when they hit someone, that's when it's really good. But it, like, there's ways to just bro. like, I wish you guys could watch me play. Like I, I know how to tackle the dude, like a hundred percent. Like, I'm not saying he's not going to, he's not going to get me. 
if if I'm one on one, yeah, curtains. You know what I mean? But but I'm gonna back up. I want to make it tough on him. I like I, I I see a lot of people just making it easy. Like you guys just make it easy. You leave him one on one on the outside. Like I think the arm bar is better when you're passing it to the running back. When yeah. you're running the ball with the running back, it's not it's even really like that because yeah, there's more people around him. So if you if I agree, if you get him out in the flats versus a cornerback, he is gonna make that cornerback look silly. But me. When somebody passes to the flats versus me, I try to click on that cornerback and back up a little bit, you know, let them oh, waste some course. stamina. And, and then I try to wait for my safety to come on. And then he's going to stiff arm my corner, but I'm going to be right there with my safety to tackle him. You know what I mean? And of course, bro, I, yes, of course, there's going to be some plays that just look silly, like 100%. But I don't think it's nearly at the, the rate that people make it seem mm -hmm. like not even close. I don't know. I just feel like it's something... That doesn't require a whole much. It doesn't require that much timing. It doesn't require any stick, and I, and, it, and it rewards I, I, a lot of yards. Not, I mean, not, I think, you know what I'm saying. That that's for me. It's like any a, a eight year old could do it. So to me, it's like like if I'm if I'm if an eight year old is getting on yards on me just by pressing a button, that's that's a little bit too easy. You know, obviously it's going to be things that people are going to be better with it, and people are going to be better defending it. But it's still a little bit too easy for people to. Uh, it's a little too easy for people to, you know, get yards. And on top of that, it's a, it, it turns into a lot like Air Truck was last year, or, man, two years now, where yeah. it's like they get a turbo and other players, you know, fall and other players stumble, and it just, it yeah, just messes truck, up your defense. The, I think the Air Truck was worse, though. Like, to to be fair, like, there was no nothing you could really do versus the Air Truck if somebody just handed the ball first inside zone, and you're right there, you're doing – you would be user in the guy, and he would just literally turn. Like, at least I know my guy's about to get stiff-armed, so I can click onto another player and then make the tackle so he can't so he can't trigger another animation before he can trigger another animation. Like, I think a lot of people are really lazy, you know what I mean? And and I might, honestly, I, I wouldn't mind. Like, bro, I just hate – I just don't like people saying, like, oh, man, you know, I love Madden. Uh, I wish they would never touch the game. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say that. If the moment something you're not going to, going to use – you you want it, you're gonna come out and say you want a patch. Just don't ever say anything about Madden about you don't want patches, because because you look silly. Like like and try to catch me. Try to catch me doing that. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it just won't happen. I I like I said p patch it, bro. I don't care, bro. I use the Cowboys, but I rarely run the ball. Believe it or not, be because of what I said. The arm the the run game is. I agree. The arm bar is really good, but the run game is still bad. Like it's yeah, I, it's yeah, terrible. The offensive mean. linemen are clueless. Like. Bro, there's so many times where the offensive lineman is is literally not blocking anyone. Like you'll have like two offensive linemen that literally aren't touching anyone on a run play. Mm -hmm. It's like it it makes no sense. And like you can't say like running the ball is lucky. Like there there's you you can look at the defensive field and be like, oh yeah, the run should work here. Oh yeah, for sure. But at the same but, time, it's it's times where lucky. people That's run. It's, I know. I think I think it's, I think it's lucky. I think it's lucky. If, if I sit in three four normal and you're in whatever run set, whatever even deuce close, right? Okay, so you run Wayne for how many years? Now, what controls does my D tackle blow up the tight end, or does the tight end get a good block on a D tackle? What controls that? Completely the yeah, game. Yeah, I agree, but I, I don't. I don't really see. I, I'm not trying to just come out and I form and make it 1982. You oh know yeah, what I'm yeah. Saying? You're like, trying to pop like, a little I'm inside to, zone against Dollar. Yeah, when I, yeah, I'm trying to run inside zone base versus Dollar and know exactly what I'm getting on defense. You know what I mean? Like. I've always played like even even when I was ran the ball heavy back in the day like like Madden Madden 12 Madden uh, 13 I always ran in three wide receiver sets because because versus three wide receiver sets you rarely get a three four unless they're like shifting the line which you can obviously expose that too you know what I mean like mm -hmm. I just feel I, like, I, and, you know, like I said I agree I agree the run game is lucky in, in the past few years because it's been terrible <laughs> like it hasn't worked how it should you know what I mean like I, I completely agree, but we're talking about these zones have been getting literally glitched, like glitched. Like there's, it's literally a cloud flat glitch every single year. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and there's almost a cloud flat on almost every single play. Yeah. But at, at some point, you know that, like, and then you got to play off of that, you know, but that's I, not I, good. That's not good. You, I mean, you I'm not going to tell you that, that that's good. And that's not the argument. That's we're not the argument. About patches, like what should be patched, right? I mean, I, for sure, I'm never going to tell you that, you know, being with those sea routes at, at, at clouds and, and that'd be good. I'll never tell you that that's a good thing. You know? Tell me one round in the NFL that isn't detected by a zone. I don't know what, you, what you're asking me. Like, that's what I'm saying. Every single year, there's a route that no matter what zone you have, it can't do anything. 
Yeah. And last year there was like three. Well, I feel like for starting this year, the zones are terrible. I feel like like they don't cover anything really at this point. I think those, see, I think the zones are bad, but like if you have a like a really good player, they play incredible. Yeah. And so like I I like like I like the scheme around stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like I know. All right. So I, for instance, I use the Cowboys. Byron Jones. I think he's, I think he's Earl Thomas of, yeah. of whatever Madden that was. Was that seventeen? Eighteen. Eighteen. I think he's the Earl Thomas of uh, eighteen. You know, there's probably other players, but I just when the when Madden first comes out, I'm a Cowboys fan. I always use the Cowboys. Okay. So, so I just have never had to switch teams this year. You know what I mean? So, I like the Cowboys. I, I know, I know that Byron Jones. He's gonna take away a side, so I can put hard flats on his side because ain't no corner route getting open versus Byron Jones. Mm-hmm. So then I can just cloud flat the other side, or or go go guard it myself. You know what I mean? I like like I think there's some scheme there at least. Oh yeah, like, and that's how it was. We talk about Earl. That's how Earl Thomas was before they yeah. passed the game. So it was ridiculous when everybody could do that. But yeah, that's how Earl was. Yeah, and that's definitely a good thing. And that's the reason to pick certain teams really other than just like you said, just pick Mahomes or pick you know pick one of these arm guys. But if you have somebody that can shut down the whole side of the field, it's definitely a big deal. But I just I. I, like I said with the run, I just feel like anything that anything that helps people get yards and is easy to do, it's just that ridiculously easy to do. I, I, for me, it's like mm, I don't know if it's the best thing. But I would disagree when you say it's easy. Like I would to stiff arm people. No, the, I'm not saying the stiff arm is not easy to do, but a lot, but a lot of the times it it doesn't. You don't get the stiff arm. You know, like like if if you hand the ball, like the ball has to be in the right hand. You know, they have to be on a certain side when when they tackle you, like. I'm not saying the stiff arm isn't ridiculous. Like, I think it's really, really good. But when I think about how I can make a computer miss or make a cornerback miss in the open field without the stiff arm, it's it's very – there's nothing there. You know what I mean? Like, even for even for wide receivers, the stiff arm is still the best move for, for wide receivers and tight ends. I mean, yeah. I'm, like I said, for me personally, I would juke the shit off the computer. I don't know what juice you try, trying, I, but I would bro, juke I the have, computer. I have Tavon Austin. He's 95 juke. He is not going to juke the computer. Yeah, all right. I would do the computer, but it just depends on the angle. If you're talking straight head to head, straight head to head, you might not juke them. But I would definitely, if I'm running on like a 45 degree angle, computers getting juked 1,000 percent. Yeah, I, w- I would have to uh, strongly disagree because all the all the jukes in the game are really really bad. Yeah, but, I mean, and, and not to mention, there's no it, it's dumb to juke anyway. Like it's just dumb. You're gonna get hissed and fumbled. Like, like a, a juke, I don't care. Like. It, like I agree, the the fumbles. I agree. If you're juking into a stick, you should fumble. But it shouldn't be that easy to hit stick. Like these computer sh- players shouldn't be hit sticking people. Yeah. Well, like, the computer. That that. Listen, the computer and, and we're we're in an age where yeah, they get the computer hit sticking so much. So these they, these kids buy the cards. You know, if they're gonna spend as much money on Ken Houston, they want Ken Houston working for him. You know, and that's why. And that's part of the reason that's been explained to me is that they want Ken Houston hit sticking. And for me, I agree 1 million percent. The computer should never hit stick. That's how I feel about it. There shouldn't yeah. be a hit aggressive. Like, no, you should be the one clicking on a hit and aggressive. That, that's from, you like, know, that's like, how I feel. They've made clicking on a dumb thing to do. Like, And I, I know you you think that you juke people all the time, and I, I, I disagree. But it makes it, for me, it makes it dumb to ever click on because I think my computer's going to hit stick you if you try to juke and you're going to fumble. No, it's point. like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like... So, so I noticed even myself, and I, I take a decent amount of pride on, you know, what I think I can do on, on with my defensive stick or whatever. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll just let you juke him or not juke him, and I'll just wait on the next guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll just be ready. I'll just be ready. So if you make him miss, I'm just there. Rather than I need to make the tackle now, I'll, I'll just be like, I'll just wait. Even if you juke him, which I don't think you're going to, he's going to hit stick you. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that makes any sense. But. I mean, for me, I, it's like, it, it's, I just never think the computer should do too much. You know, it shouldn't be I easy agree. to hit stick. And even in this moment, I think it's too easy to hit stick, which are you, it's too easy to hit stick, period. I think yeah. there's there's so much room for error with the hit stick where, like, you can you can hit stick well, five yards, you know, before you get to somebody and they still give you hit stick animations. I think that's a little bit too I think easy. It's, I think it's gotten a little bit better, though. Like, I... Like this year, like they've made sh- like it's almost silly to strip. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they, like, they make the strip super weak. You gotta t- you gotta time it like almost perfect. It's just gonna be so tough. Like one thing I don't like, like 
it's so hard to like conservative tackle anyone because you just won't ever catch them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like even you know how you could like lay out and tackle people before. Like you're never gonna get, like you're never gonna catch up to them if you, if you dive tackle. Like say say you're running up the field and I'm like behind you. I'm never gonna if when I dive I'm never gonna tackle you. Like you have to just run them down every single time or or you have no chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and that's I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, there's uh, I I I seen somebody say like at least they should at least stumble sometimes like when they get the stiff arm. But there's there's literally no stumble recovery at all in the game. I don't I don't know if anybody knows like I, mean, I didn't notice that. that I did know, I've, and now that you said I've, I've never definitely never stumble. seen stumble recovery. Even I have had some of the animations. I think, yeah. but then without being able to stumble recovery, like, yeah. so it's the, like, yeah. like when, like, like there's a lot of picks where like, I'm like, how the hell are they not stumbling? And they just like are running. And then the guy that's like closest to them when they get picked off, literally can't tackle them. Like literally can't. Touch I've, them. I've run into that too. Now I'm like, I will, I will say I'm happy that when you catch a pick, you're not automatically stumbling. Cause I feel like that's yeah. how it, last year was horrible. Every time you caught a pick. Just automatically. Yeah. I had to put never stumble on DBs last year. That's how yeah. bad it was. So I am happy about the fact that you can catch the ball and not just start rolling all over the place. You know? Yeah, like, I guess my biggest my biggest thing with the armbar isn't so much, like, do I think it's not overpowered enough to get patched? I wouldn't say that. But it's just, like, I feel like you run into an issue, like, where you just debate everything. You know what I mean? Debate, debate everything being overpowered. It's like... Like I just, I, bro. Like I know people think like I'm. Uh, I want to run the ball, so I want to have arm. Like I really don't look at stuff like that, bro. Like I really, genuinely don't. I just, I hate playing new versions of Madden constantly, and, and then that leads to frustration. You know what I mean? It. I just feel like it's really easy to nitpick if you really want to. Yeah, I mean for sure, and I also think, uh, I think we over everybody overreacted to the first week, uh, yeah. because that's all everybody was doing. You know, and uh, nobody was, I don't think nobody really is that great at the game yet, you know, to the point yeah. where they don't have to run. You know, and that's that's what I see a lot of, you know, these regs games I've been watching has been all people running, honestly, because I think people, they're not as good at the game as they will be in a month, you know. So yeah. for me, uh, but like I said, anything that's easy, and we, we both know, and, and when, when I realized the arm bar was a little OP, was when Jag Jag put out a video. Now we both know Jag, great guy. <laughs> now Mo no. Jag's a great guy. Man player, he's a shit man player. All right. So if Jag is out here popping people because it is pressing A, that's what I knew. I mean, it might be a little too much, honestly. So so far, I do have that video, and that, I think I do. Oh damn. Oh yeah. Where is the Jag video? Oh, here we go. So I just run into people like it. I, <laughs> yo, this one was ridiculous because most of the time, because like he kind of got two people, a two for one special. Yeah, he did get two, but like I, I know it sounds silly, but I would have clicked on already to the other guy. Like I would have already clicked on and just been waiting for that. Yeah, guy yeah you might be tripping. No, I'm, I'm dead 100% serious. Like that, that's literally what I do. And they too close to click on, like. I don't know where whoever the hell was using this. It was nowhere, but they were like too close to like, click on it. Like that, and they I, got I'm sucked surprised into that. that one even, I will say like that one, like that one was like just if he would have got to him like a split second closer, he wouldn't even have, he would have just got his stick. Like that, that's where I think it's silly. Like when when there there's literally like a, a um like a not, I'm not I don't know if there's a threshold, but like like right before then they just get an automatic hit stick, like. The dude just kills him, like, every single time. I, I will tell you, I was using Chubb, and I definitely couldn't get not one damn arm bar in, like, three games. Maybe Chubb is not Ezekiel Elliott, but it was definitely definitely rough for me. They said Fitz is the best arm bar person. See, I don't want the run in arm bar. See, I, see to me, I feel yeah, like Fitz... Fitz is just trying to run the ball, like, I'm going to contain it, and he's going to lose. Like, I feel like Fitz... I, I, like, even- like, Fitz, I love Fitz, right? But if Fitz is good at Madden, I feel like something's like if if Fitz can just pop people, I feel like Matt the Matt something gotta get fixed. And if it's the arm bar, then shit, then we gotta fix it. So I I would gauge patches like off of Fitz. Like if Fitz is popping, whatever the hell he's doing, yeah, whatever he's doing, that's what we need to patch because it's, he shouldn't be on. Like I have lost the Fitz in Madden's because of Legare Blunts and shit. So it's like yeah, that shit is too powerful. You know, we got a brain dead person that doesn't think 
he can't be out here winning Madden games. So that so that that's pretty much how I feel about anything that that helps the run really. Now I will agree with you. I feel like this year, the the blocks from the guards on the linebacker is way more random than it was last year. Because I was adamant last year that them safeties were not getting off blocks. This year I feel like they just like you said they get pushed and then they react and they're right there. Yep. It, that's the thing. It's like it's like even they'll get blocked hard as hell. Like they'll get pushed back, but they'll just push them right into where you're running. You know what I mean? It's like it's like they're triggering that they won they won the matchup, but they're just pushing them right to where you're running. Like instead of like so say I'm running inside zone to the right, my right guard is is meeting that linebacker, and instead of pushing him inside so I can just run to the outside, he pushes him to the outside where there's you know what I mean where where that's their open space. Mm -hmm. It's like it just it just doesn't make sense. Like I don't feel like the like honestly I don't feel like the run is a a random thing. I think it's been like that of the last few years, but like. Like a lot of, back in the day, like a lot of the blitzes, they were, they were like, oh, you shift your D line a certain way, so I'm gonna sit here and flip the play and and mess with your D line, or you know, and then I'll run the ball. Mm -hmm. But like like a lot of the blitzes, you had to shift it a certain way, stuff like that. Like it's not really like that this year anymore because every everything is like edge, you know what I mean? Like so, like that's the only reason it seems like it's random. It shouldn't be, but that's what it seems like. We should know whether the run's gonna work or not versus a certain defense unless unless the user blows it up like which i can live with you know and i think anybody can live with is like if somebody user blows it up when they should like say they're in a bad def they get caught in a bad defense mm -hmm. but they make a play with their user it's like you know uh, good good stuff to them like i was just i was that close to, to breaking a run but i didn't because they're user but but th I, these dudes shouldn't be block shedding that shouldn't be something that's a, a random you know what i mean that that's not that's not how it should be but yeah, like I said, I didn't think it was like that last year. I thought them dudes just they got blocked and they got held. This year, I have been seeing people getting pushed around and just like like you said, getting pushed back two yards, but them being in a good spot to make plays and stuff. But ultimately, I yeah, still don't feel the like the corners have been the corners have been like ridiculous versus the run for like several years. Now I'm saying when I'm running the ball, I feel like the corners are OD. They're too good. But when I'm on defense, I feel like my corners don't do <laughs> shit. Like, they're just getting pancaked. They're getting held. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I don't like running dollar any, anymore because I just can't – I can't stop the run out of it. I can't do it anymore. Like, people just pound inside zone. And if I don't make a ridiculous play with my user, then it's 10 yards, really. And, and that's pretty much how I feel about DBs and stuff. So, I don't know. Well, I just – like I said, anything that helps fits and people like that and to, to, to be competitive, man, I just – I, I hate to run. I don't know because for me to run is just it's not as as much of a chess match as passing the ball. I really and I feel like I mean if you think about passing the ball like like last year it was like spam like even even mo most years it's like spam like you just spam a play like there's no there's no scheme you know what I mean like that's how I feel. I kind of I, I kind of feel, like feel that because of the, just the, the, I've been, I've been watching people play. I would just watch Clef play all day and I'm looking at myself every damn route on this field is open. I feel like it's really not hard. Just make sure you don't go near the user. And cool because these these route cams and the cloud the cloud flat just pretty much it just sits there and makes you hold a ball longer. It doesn't really cover any route to me. And yeah. I feel like yeah, if you just put these schemes together, call the right play at the right time. I mean, it's really not that much. See, that's, difficult. that's why. That's I don't care if somebody passes the ball every play, but I know if I know what play you're running. There's no, there's no way I shouldn't be able to think of a way to stop it. I'll tell you, I, and th that's part of the reason why I always argued for, for, for cross man. That's the argument. That's the exact argument that I put. I remember I wrote an email after we had that. We had the, the EA little competitive summit. They said we took out cross man. I said, what cross man did was allow me to, you know, know exactly guess what play what is play coming. Play. Guess what play? Prepare for that play. Plan for that play. And then being able to stop it. And because they took that out, it makes it a pain in the ass. I can't stop post route to save my life because nobody can cover these guys on these post routes. And it's just a pain. It's just tough. And, and you're right. I, I do feel like if I know what play's coming, I should be able to stop it. Now, uh, I don't think it's as bad as it used to be. But but you're right. There are plays I feel like you can run the whole game and, and get away with it, honestly. Especially those bunch with the corner route, post route, flat route drag. It's like yeah. good luck at this point. I don't know. I just feel like uh, I don't know. I, like this year, I, I think it's a little bit harder to pass. But even still, it's like 
It's the same. It's the same thing. Like everybody's doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just I don't know. Like, and that's why I think when running the ball is, I didn't have to be great, but when it, when it's like decent and you know I can't I can run inside zone versus dollar unless they blow it up with their user, and I think that creates some sort of scheme chess match. You know what I mean? Like I feel like there's been no like very little, like chess match or like schemes put into anything in the last couple years just because, the the run game is has been unpredictable like yeah you may break a run but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be lucky if you do you know what i mean i'll Whereas, tell you i agree with that the run game is a lot more unpredictable than the pass game whereas the pass game is pretty much like you say you, you pretty much know what you're going to get with the coverage you know if you see the right coverage you know what they're going to do you know what they're going to cover what they can cover and what they can't cover you know and that, that's pretty much and that happens every snap is pretty much the same thing whereas the run that is unpredictable and that is where my point is that it's lucky if it's something good happens it's lucky for the offense if something bad happens it's lucky for the defense it's completely dependent on the game you know and to me obviously okay you said you can make a right call like okay the box it looks like i can run the ball you know it's third and six i can run inside zone for 10 yards but god forbid if the game doesn't if the game gives me bad animations i won't get that but if the game gives me good animations i get a first down so that's why, to me, runner, runners depend on the game more than a passer. They depend on Madden helping them more than a passer. Or not helping them, but not hurting them. You know, it just depends so much on what happens in the animations and the blocks and the you front You could say the same thing about block shed, though. Like, if I said... Oh, yeah, for sure. Block shed's are lucky. You know, if you get an instant one, that's lucky for the defense. But I just I just feel like I'm not as dependent on that when I'm... Pa not as dependent on the game helping yeah. me or the game being in my favor... As I am when I, as a, as I am or as a runner is, I think they need the game more in their favor than a passer does helping them, and that's why I feel like, you know, when you help the runners, then it makes it harder for somebody that can pass the ball and di differentiate their game that way, you know, and it keeps everybody bottled down. Because if you help the runners, then it's going to make the game shorter, so it's going to make everybody in the same, everybody be able to compete. And everybody yeah, I don't agree. Hand I don't agree with that though. Like, you, you shouldn't be able to play a bad game and never run, like, never run the ball once. In oh, you should, I mean, it's not like it's not like I think you I should don't be able to run, but I don't, I don't agree with everybody will be in the same pool if, if running is good. Like that is like that's crazy to say. Like, like it's you sh you should be able to find ways to stop the run like outside of your dude block shedding. Like if if you say if you say like I need to I need my dude to block shed or I can't stop the run, like that's on yourself. Yeah, like I at the end of the day, that. like, so, so I I don't agree with that at all. Like, I don't like. If anything, the last few years have been pass heavy. You would agree? No. Like not Madden what? eighteen. You don't think that? Not Madden eighteen. Madden. What was that? The truck? Yes. And the juke and Madden challenge. I lost to Joel Juke, my first player, every damn time. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like a lot like in Madden eighteen. I feel like you had to pass the ball. What? Like I agree I agree running like there was glitches, you know what I mean? Like the the truck the truck thing, but like really th that that didn't really come out until it was already decided who was going to be at the Madden Bowl and stuff you like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Well, the in the, the Madden challenge was the juke the first person every time no matter what that little left trigger juke or the L1 juke just doo -doo, right by the first person every single time. Oh uh, yeah. You know. But that that was way but, but that wasn't just running though. Oh, yeah, it was pretty it much everything. But, yeah, but, but at the same time, it made – I just feel like I lost to Joel because he just ran the ball every single play. And it's like if it was – and it was like – it was beyond frustrating because I would just get juked. The first person jukes, jukes, jukes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I think that that stuff helps the – that stuff helps the pass too. Like, Oh, yeah, the jukes for sure because everybody can kind of do the juke. Yeah. Well, but I just no, I feel mean, like 18 you could I, run because of that, you know. Yeah, I definitely drew. I drew five people with Devin Hester one time on a drag. Yeah, so yeah, the left, the, the little left bumper, left trigger juke was pretty crazy. But yeah, that one was. Crazy. I don't think there hasn't been a game. I mean, those close has been pretty good, but I, it's just I feel like when the run is good, it shortens the game. I, I think Deuce close was compete. only good because you don't see it as often. You know what I mean? Like, you don't see it as often, so you don't really think about it. But I mean, once you have Deuce close to you, you have Deuce close to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's not you don't got to do nothing cute. It's not, you don't never really got to change it. Like, all right, do yeah. this one setup and you'll bag all Deuce close. Exactly. You know that's how it goes. But I, I just like I said, Fitz Fitz is going to be my gauge for what they need to patch 
for pretty much the rest of my life. Like, I'm going to say, is Fitz good? And if they say, no, Fitz sucks, then I'm going to go ahead and be, all right, man's good right now. If they say Fitz is popping people, we got to find out what he's doing and get rid of it, you know, because he's kind of brain dead. And, you know, if he can pop, then everybody can pop. But that's just how I feel about the run. You know, I just, I, I hate it. But it definitely has a place in Madden and uh, has always been a huge part of the game, honestly. So we'll definitely uh, see how it goes. Uh, I, like I said, I've been playing much, so I haven't run into the run. I think the run sucks when anybody comes out in the run. I feel like it's terrible. Yeah, the run isn't good. That's yeah. why I say, like, people complain about the run, but it's really not good. The arm bar is good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And like I said, I think the armbar is better when you're passing it to the running back and getting him like a hundred percent on these one on one situations with the cornerback. Like Yeah. If you just run up the middle, like you might have some crazy plays sometimes, but but you're gonna get tackled more times than not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how I feel. For, for sure. I mean yeah, so far as I'm, I just feel like it's too easy to do. I feel like anybody yeah. can do it. I feel like even the double juke was was it took stick. To, to an extent, right, for sure. Was like, fun. like, the armbar is not fun. The double juke is, was fun. And you, you can know clown I mean? people. To, like, and, yeah. and it was... Some people were good at it. Some people were great at it. Some people sucked at it. And some people couldn't even do it. The armbar... Yeah, the armbar, arm I can get my girlfriend here. She could be punching people in the mouth her first time ever playing Madden. So, for me, that's why I, it, it's a little bit too easy. Like, if, like you said, if you time it at the wrong time, you should stumble and slow the hell down. Like, OD. You know, but if you time it at the right time... Bang, that'd be awesome. You get those animations. You know, if you if you go ahead and time it, there, and there goes to your point where you could click on, you know, take a step back, let them waste that, like, you know, let them miss, and then be able to hit stick them, you know? But for now, it's like, if you could just spam the shit, it's just way too easy. That's pretty much all. I guess for me. My, my big thing is, like, when I have Zeke one-on-one with the cornerback, I do expect to win. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm one-on-one on that side, like, the cornerback should win at, like, a... 10%. 15, yeah, yeah, 10, 15% rate, like... And I would say that's probably about what it is. You know what I mean? But but the problem is my dude is my dude my dude is getting faster after he does it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if I win, I mean I, I at least want my dude falling for it. I don't want my dude just getting stood up. You know what I mean? Because because then that's lucky. You know what I mean? At yeah. the end of the day, that is lucky. When when some bum cornerback is just like standing me up on the outside, that is lucky. Whether you want to yeah. think it is or not, that that's not what's supposed to happen right there. Yeah. Animation animations are, are lucky to an extent. They really are. Like, all around the board. Whether you're yeah. chasing a wide receiver, using a wide receiver, and they get a good animation and not get a pick, or you get stuck in an animation where they both go for the ball instead of you just jumping in front. And yeah, it's definitely it's an animation-based game, just like every sports game is, and you getting put in the animations is lucky, for sure. Uh, I just think, wish it was a little bit harder to get them ridiculous animations, you know? I oh, feel yeah, like right. it should be like a, a scale of your animation depending on how well you time the, the arm or the stiff arm. You know, if you miss it, yeah. maybe you get a bullshit stiff arm. But if you hit it at the right time, you know, almost like a jump shot in 2K. Like, if you're shitty with it, you know, maybe you, get a, you just fall forward. But if you hit it at the right time, yeah, you throw the corner back out of balance and you keep going, honestly. So, I mean, but people, like, with the well, they pass to their tight end, they just literally start hitting – on their right stick up like how much different is it really it's not and that's terrible too yeah, it's pretty much the same thing that, that's my thing is like i think you just run into a problem where like you start to try to gauge like what should be passion what should not like I, I like i understand we're way past this era of madden where things aren't going to be patched everything is going to be tweaked every single thing i mean we're talking about zone zone thresholds are going to be like people are going to say zones are bad these zones are probably going to go insane you know what i mean like, yeah, like man 18 because, because, because we don't ever have a chance to really just play the game at any point throughout the year. We, there's no there's no point until until all the tournaments are done and then they're just like, ah, oh, fuck it, we're on to the next Madden. The, there's no point where we're playing the same game. Yeah, for sure. And then we, we, done. we do have to remember that they're going to make the game, they're going to tune the game and pass the game to what they think is going to keep people playing. Not, not what we think is right. They want more people playing the game. So if they if the arm bar is tough and kids love arm barring, guess what? We're gonna be punching people no, in the, the arm face. Bar is gone. That's the thing. It doesn't even really matter. Like the debate doesn't really matter because they, they are they are patching it. Like a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so we'll see. But like I said, they do it for to keep people playing the game. Whether it's eight year olds, eighteen year olds, or eighty eight year olds, whoever's playing the game, whatever's gonna keep people playing the game, that's how they're gonna patch it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I feel like every time they. They they won't go in there just to change one thing though. They gonna they gonna get their little list 
Armbar might be at the top of the list. Zone tweak yeah. might be at the top of the list. Let's improve offensive line. Uh, they're going to do something. And whatever they do, in the past, it has broken some other shit in the game. So we'll see. And we'll definitely have a list probably before. And that's what they call the 30-day patch. And I, we, I've been told, sitting in the meetings with Rex, the rest of us, listen, the first 30 days, we want people playing the game. So the shit's going to be easier. That's Madden 18. Madden 18 came out. It was easy. as You could throw anything. You could close your eyes, pick a button, and complete passes. And that's when, okay, 30 days in, everybody's been playing the game. Now let's tune it and bring in 91 zones. So pretty much every pass over 10 yards is a pick. And that's how it was. <laughs> like, that's pretty much how it was. And they, they well, keep that it was like Madden 18 regs. That's, that was, like, the hardest one to yeah. pass the ball. Yeah, man. I remember playing. I remember playing. Joe, Joe came into uh, the Madden Classic using the Falcons. And I was so happy he was on the Falcons because the Falcons sucked compared to the Seahawks. Where Earl, Earl and Sherman and the, dude, I was like, I just hope he keeps using and, the Falcons. Uh, but he saw. Chancellor was good in the, the three right. Hell yeah, Chancellor, because he was tall as shit. Or you couldn't throw, you couldn't pass anything. It was like my, every time I passed, I was like, please just leave the drag open because that's all. And that all was all I pro throw. too. Like that was before people was even playing all Madden. Yeah. That was all pro, and like they were like the only people that could defend anything. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, was definitely. So I think we're on the verge of maybe having something like that because I do feel like the zones are, are on that level of Madden 18 to where I can I can do corner routes on. I just I can close my eyes and complete corner routes right now. So for me, I feel like we could get to that 30 days in, but that probably is going to be after the Madden Classic. So that's probably the first patch. I don't know what they're planning on, but it's always been. Uh, a, it's going to come out soon. Yeah. Like I like these dudes are like in my. Twitter DM because you know I like I've been on like you know people need to play the game more you know before we start crying about this arm bar the, I already got the EA people the first four patches we don't are already done Jeez. like just already already in my inbox like like dude it's like I don't know it's like how do you ask for feed, feedback but you already have the first four patches done like what does that mean you know what I mean like like how does like my, that's my issue like Clint's asking like what do puts a puts a poll out on twitter what do you think about fumbles it's mm -hmm. like what like how does that actually gauge any anything and, like, I, and i'll tell you about fumbles one people will always say there's too many fumbles because you never remember the fumbles that you get but you remember all the fumbles that happen to you so you, uh, people think about fumbles as a negative thing for me i want to I, I i love it I love being able to hit people. I love people having to be afraid. I want them to be afraid of running in the middle of the field. The last two years, they've never been afraid at all. Should, should they put Since they put the conservative thing, man, 18, man, 19, you've never been afraid of fumbling. And now I feel Drag, like, yeah, it's a spin, good thing. Spin, spin. Spin, yeah, spin 1,000 people, <laughs> and you're never afraid of defense. And I'm never in favor. One thing, uh, since I've been playing, man, I've never been in favor of making defense worse. Because the yeah. worst defense gets. Well, defense are already too hard. Shit, you got all these routes. It's just a corner route, post route, drag route. Like, it's hard enough. At least let me hit somebody and make them afraid so they're not spinning and juking all over the place. You know, so I, I'm perfectly fine with where fumbles are at right now. Yeah, I, my, my only issue is, like, uh, like I said, computer fumbles. And, I mean, I agree. Like, when you throw over the middle, I, I see. I agree. Yeah, you might not have time to get down. Well, guess what? That's how that's how life. And it wasn't that great of a you know pass. It wasn't that yeah, great like, of a pass. Then if you don't have time to yeah, get like, down, you already know you're fitting it into a tight window. If you're getting hit without having it, without being able to do anything, like it's unfortunate when you fumble. Don't don't get me wrong, but it's not something that should never happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. And, 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 but along with that is like, I I think that the they're back to the like last year the uh, the possession catch you could still hit them. They're back to the Man, possession catch. Way. You can't touch. Yeah, them. it's like you. you in it. Yeah, I kind of agree. Like with these that. dudes are throwing these wheel routes in between like four zones where I I know I'm about to just I'm about to just I'm like please throw it right there. And you they know fall what I mean? down in front and of you. It's, it's turning into where I have to lurk that rather than my zone that's really in decent position is probably going to make a play, but he's just throwing it in between all the zones and he's just able to fall down. Yeah. Like they're back. They're back to just never dropping the ball on the possession, like never being able to touch the possession. Uh -huh. Which I agree, it was a little annoying last year. Like when you possession caught and dude just crack you, but mm -hmm. I think that I think it was probably a good thing in the end. Well, but, last year as far as being able to hit possession, yeah, like catches, being able yeah. to touch, like being able to touch someone, like yeah. But I, I do like, and they talked in the chat said fumbling on conservative. Now this happens to me because I've been playing on conservative probably the last hundred games. But for me, I mean, I I think 
a, a, a setting where you could never fumble is a bad thing. That's how I was in Madden 18. I remember Madden 18, Madden Classic. You just running right into Cam Chancellor. And that's before they took away your moves. You could put it on conservative, still juke yeah. and truck and all that. And just so, and, and you could never fumble. So it was kind of outrageous. So I think you, I mean, obviously you shouldn't fumble as often on conservative, and it should be a low chance. But at the end of the day, if a man's trying as hard as possible to hold on to the ball, but somebody hits him in the mouth hard enough, he's going to get the ball up. It's going to happen. You know, just because you're unconservative yeah. doesn't mean you can start trying to, you know, stop and go and juke into 100 people. Yeah, that's exactly what I was say. Like, these dudes want to go unconservative and just try to stop and go, everybody. Yeah. When in reality, when you stop and go, that's you when you die. should fumble the most. Yeah. That's when you should fumble the most. You're, you're stopping all your momentum, and then you're picking it up again just to take a hit. Yeah, you should fumble more often there than you should almost any time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for me, for me, I think you should be able to fumble. It super sucks when you're unconservative and fumble. But you should be. Uh, there shouldn't be a mode where it's impossible to fumble. Because at the end of the day, that's football, and we have to remember that you know football is super goddamn random, like super random, uh, and it's always been like that. And and as much as we want man to not be random, football is super random, and that's the most entertaining and, thing about the sport. I mean, really, if, if we want to talk about like real life and and stuff like that, it's like. In real life, the only people who really take hits, who don't avoid hits, are the running backs. Everybody else on the field tries to avoid getting hit. Yeah. Every single they player. You know what I mean? Like, on the line yeah, no, not even wide receivers. They're trying to, they're trying to cover up the ball and, and get, get down. Like, bounds, almost yeah. always, yeah, they're always trying to get out of bounds. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, it's definitely. I, I think you should still be able to. I, I think fumbles are fine, right where they are. I, I wouldn't touch. I mean, like I said I haven't played much of regs. Probably about 10, 15 games. Uh, the arm bar, for me, it didn't work. I was pissed. My arm bar was broken. Maybe I don't have the right spam and stick. Got to ask Fitzmagic how he's winning games. Uh, but, uh... <clears throat> Playing bad players. Yeah, but fancy, you can't you can't say there shouldn't be fumbling on conservative. I mean, for me, it's like, don't get, don't get hit that bad. You know, you all, can't have a mode. Said, you can't have a mode that where you could just never fumble. It just makes all it takes all the, all the intensity out of late game situations, out of people stopping to run. Okay, the only way he can win is get a fumble. He has to stop the run now and get, he gets a big hit. You have to still – it has to be a really small ch- small chance of fumbling. I mean, it has to be small, but it can't be impossible to fumble. I feel like that's bad. When someone says they don't want to fumble on conservative, that just tells me that they want to stop and go. They don't – They don't. yeah, I don't care about you, Ken. You just want to try to stop and go everywhere. Like, oh, if you get just obliterated, you should fumble the ball. I don't care. Like, it's not like you're covering up the ball. You're literally – you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, let's not – like, they're they're trying to take hits. You know what I mean? They're trying to, to have these high-risk plays without the risk. Mm-hmm. That, so that, that's what kind of makes it silly for me. I agree. Like, I think fumbles – I, I think, think fumbles should be a part of the game. You know, it, it is unfortunate. Like, when you throw a pass over the middle, it, it I agree. You get hit, it's unfortunate you fumble. But that's that's the reality, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's – uh, that's that's football. That's literally that's, zone defense. Yes. You know what I mean? Like that's that's exactly that's what's why you to put happen. that's why you put Bobby Wagner in a hook curl or Bobby Wagner because they hit somebody, really, and and that's why you know why receivers don't like running over the middle in real life because Bobby Wagner's there, you know. So for me, I'm, I'm definitely cool, definitely cool with where the fumbles are. Uh, I'm just any. We'll see. I, like I said, I haven't seen it. All I saw, I saw the arm bar. I didn't see it. I was, I never felt the arm bar in person yet. I haven't felt the power of it. I tried to use it. I, For me, I tell you what, they don't let me run the ball. When I run the ball, I lose one yard every time. They don't let me arm bar anybody. I, 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 the game just doesn't let me do shit like that. So it didn't work for me. So uh, just the videos I've seen, it seems pretty OD. And, you know, we'll, we'll definitely see how it goes. Uh, we'll see how the patch works if they patch it, but I just want to keep playing the game, and I, I think you would agree it's fun playing the game now when everybody's everybody's yeah. trying to learn the game, everybody's kind of ass and kind of still good at the same time. It's a different type of game than it will be in in a month for real, honestly. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> but so you want to be at the Madden Classic? Oh, for sure, man. How do you feel yeah. about the MCS? Um, I th- I thought. I think it's good, you know what I mean, for the for the most part. I mean, I would like to obviously see some more money, but... Yeah, the money hasn't really grown since shit yeah. in four years. Oh. So, I mean, but, you know, we, that, that that's like beating a dead horse at this point uh, as far as more money. 
you know, especially especially last year when they cut down all the costs, weren't at the Super Bowl, weren't at the Pro Bowl. Uh, I think that saved them a ton of money. They they picked up X amount of sponsorships last year and cut back millions of dollars in the production, and the prize pool was still the same. So definitely a little rough to see that. Uh, but I know you're excited about the double elimination. Oh yeah, double elimination. But I, I wish it was for all the tournaments, though. You know what I is mean? Is it uh, just for the Madden Classic? I, I'm pretty sure the way they made it seem is like that was the big thing about the Madden Classic. You know what I mean? So, I would say I would say that it probably is. You know what I mean? It, like I said, I still feel feel like there's some things that they could probably clear up because I kind of I don't understand. You know, is it just for the Madden Classic? That's what they made it seem like. Now, so, I, we, now double elimination is cool. I don't have a problem with that. I would always have a problem if you did some best two out of three. I hate that shit for a tournament. Yeah. But double yeah. elimination is cool. The, the The biggest downside is that, all right, say I play the winner's bracket, right? And I dominate. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here Talking waiting. Yeah. I feel See, like I, that's I the biggest I think that they just need to make it to where the, the weight isn't. You know what I mean? Like, like the so like the loser's bracket semifinals should be playing while the winner's bracket finals is playing. So, or not, you know, like back to back though. You know what I mean? Like, the loser's bracket it's always, finals. But it's always gonna be some type bracket. of weight. Yeah, but if know? if it's just an hour, I mean, you're gonna have well, that anyways. You yeah. know what I mean? You're gonna have a weight anyways at some point. So it's like I think they they could do a, a little bit better, and I, I hope that they do. You know, I'm pretty. I don't know. I feel I feel good about it for in comparison to to probably like how I would probably used to normally feel. I think that they they kind of understand like yeah, and I'd probably be cool with but maybe not. They could probably do it like a almost a 3-day event or even yeah. Like Friday had a first bracket, Saturday you got a losers bracket. Then on Sunday afternoon you got a championship or something like that. Uh that way the, the downtime isn't that big a deal cuz one of the biggest things with these double elimination tournaments that we've seen in the past is that it's so goddamn long, and it's at one night that it ends up ending at four in the morning or seven a.m. You know, and that that's never going to be an option. So it's definitely going to be tough. Uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, I'm excited for Man Classic. So you liking the Cowboys right now? Yeah, that's that's who I'm going to use almost for sure. Why well, I, I I played with them today and I sucked with them and I said it's a reason why I never picked them. I was <laughs> terrible. I don't know. I, the problem with them is that they have the abilities, right? So I want to throw the ball to Zeke every time. I just want to give him the ball. So it just messes up my offense because I'm forcing him the ball. And then defensively, all right, I have DeMarco Lawrence. It's like, okay, let me just rush three people because I don't need the blitz. I don't need to do nothing cute. So, yeah, and then it's like it just messes up my how I play. You know, but I like the Browns, and but the Browns are kind of the same thing, really. Yeah, I feel like they're pretty similar. Yeah, except they have Odell. And this yeah. and Denzel Ward, but I guess the Cowboys have a uh, who Anthony Brown and your boy Byron, but for me Denzel Byron. Ward is just oh man like that user yeah. and him, and that that's a big difference. And I think it's an even bigger difference between the linebackers and safeties when you use them. I think that's like night and day when you use somebody super agile compared to somebody that's just a big bulky linebacker. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I'm excited about the MCS. It uh, seems pretty cool. seems like they didn't change much from last year. Uh, I feel like they give the club series even more money. You know, how do you feel about the, the payment structure? I feel like, you could, uh, you could, like, again, you can win the club series and then have more money than everybody else, you know? Yeah, well, I will say, like, the last tournament, I think that I would assume that they're going to change it because it's, like, 20K to third and fourth for this is the madden bowl Mm -hmm. it's like 20k to third and fourth and then 25k to second and then 65 to first i i feel like they should probably like either give less money to third and fourth or take some money off first like the third and fourth shouldn't be that close and then to to the second second place place. yeah yeah skimbo said the same thing we had the same exact thought like yeah that's too much like that's too much of difference but the club series is like it's it sucks because you know like Everybody just avoids each other, and then mm-hmm. uh, you, you know it normally ends up for a pretty cool final thirty-two or whatever. Yeah. But at the same time, it is still like oh, it's just like a lot of random. Like, do you do you pick your favorite team? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I, w- 
I would like to use the Cowboys. I would like to pick the Cowboys. Yeah, but then but you want to do some easy shit. Playing, one, yeah. You think I'm playing Drini? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not playing Drini. Like, you can forget about it. So it's like, I don't know. You just It just kind of, it's a little bit silly, but I obviously understand why it's the most money, like, to, to be given out because it's like what the teams mm -hmm. put their money towards or whatever. But even then, it's like, I don't feel like we do – you know, it's not like if I choose the Cowboys, I'm flying out and playing Zeke. You know what I mean? It's like, like it's not like they're putting a lot behind it, even yeah. still. You know, what I mean, it's just a tournament. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't know. Well, some teams do. So, some teams do more, and I think that uh, Skimbo has always been. A, he's a the Patriots don't do enough. Blah, blah blah. So he's always thought about doing another team. You know, because some of these teams, you know, one they have the event, two they take care of the people a little bit more. You know, they just a little bit. <clears throat> they more prizes more you know they just promote it more as a better opportunity and uh so that could come into people's decisions but speaking of that jay bird you know he went up and he's making a whole spreadsheet he got a whole spreadsheet of where everybody's playing club series at you know so yeah. they can try to find the easiest club series to go to so if you guys are playing See, club if, series, like, if the madden bowl gave out the most money i would probably challenge you know i would probably do the hard you know yes, maybe yes. You know, i would at least think I about it mean. But like, but it's the most money, you know. It's like it's it's just dumb, and you know you can get eliminated earlier in the tournament and get almost no points outside of the money, you know, mm -hmm. outside of the money aspect. So it's like, I don't know. It's 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 a tough it's a tough bout. Like I don't know. That's the one thing I don't like. But the reality is, there should be more money everywhere else. You know what I mean? It it just shouldn't be the one tournament. Is like really the end all be all. It's like <clears throat> I told Zimbo, I'd be cool if they were all all four of them were the same money. Oh, hundred percent. Like, if, if, like the, the I winner gets sixty and the loser get forward, I, I'd be cool with all four of them being exactly the same. Yeah. Bro, I wish honestly, I wish that we had twenty fifty k tournaments, yeah. and it was first place. You know, first place gets paid. You know what I mean? Like, how sick would that be? Yeah, it's like, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I'm, I thought I'm that they were gonna take like a more online direction. I, honestly, like with the MCS, like I thought that they would. I thought there would be like a an MCS like online event. Yeah, well, they've killed online Madden, dude. That shit's dead. Yeah. They, as good as it was in Madden 17, even Madden 18 was pretty good. They've pretty much killed it outside of Last Chance, but even Last Chance was a little bit weak compared to what I thought it was going to be last year. As far as online ladder play and uh, just playing a game in general, really. So we'll see. I'm that's what I'm disappointed. As somebody that wants to stream Madden and play this shit all day. The lack of leaderboards is something that hurts. That upsets me. But oh uh, yeah, like, you know. like I know the leaderboards are starting. I don't even care. I don't even care to make up my team right now. You know what I mean? I'm just. I know I can just play in a in a month. Yeah. You know what I mean? In two it's weeks like, and be up there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, they've uh, man. There was nothing like the top four. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Bro, there was nothing like worrying about if somebody else was cheating. You know what I mean? Like actually yeah. caring. Like now it's like whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, nobody cares because no, none of us gonna be in position bro, to like cheat and affect us, really. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like I was, I was so invested. You know what I mean? Like watching everybody a little, watching they place, who lose and who winning. Yeah, who's playing? Who, who's is someone cheating? You know what I mean? Like are they are they cheating? Oh, this person's cheating. I hate them. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that that stuff is fun to me. You know what I mean? That's just kind of playing the game know. that much is fun, and get, yeah, like think about a leaderboard. You're playing hundreds of games that matter, and people playing hard as shit. Like you don't, you don't really get that. Cause honestly, that's what made me. That's what made me better at the game, playing that many people. So, I mean, I, I'm disappointed about leaderboards. You know, they definitely got rid of that. So, it hurts me as as a mad player and a streamer. You know, because I don't want to. I don't know how much longer I can play these little shitters all day. But <laughs> I, yeah, they, I think that there needs to. There was nothing like, like I said, there's nothing like top four. And, like, DC's leaderboard's the only one that even matters, really. You know what I mean? Like, the that's the only one you really have to even grind for because Club Series is, like, there's going to be, like, 12 people, like, mm -hmm. literally, that, that, that you have to be ahead of or something. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I don't know. At least DC, DC leaderboards, you need to do something. Like, it'd be cool if they made the DC leaderboards, like, a top four type of deal. But yes. I yeah. I, I think they did that Man 18. They did. Uh... Last year was yeah, nothing. Yeah, Madden 18 was cool because they had those they had those like challenger events mm -hmm. to where like you would get the same placement as if you placed top four online. So it was like you could either do good, you could either be in the finals of the, one of those, or you could grind for top four or top sixteen. It's like 
there was different different uh rewards yeah i mean that's definitely was cool i i I don't know where they're taking the feedback from because I think all of us were in favor. I think everybody alive is in favor of top four matter or something. Um, yeah. I think they just don't want to police it, maybe. I think that, and I think the club series. Like, I think the club series kind of throw, throws a wrench because it is the most money. You know what I mean? So it would be – you can't really do a top four for the club series. No, but, but, I mean? but, yeah, but like you said, first of all, I said it last week that the Matt Classic in 18 was, was perfect. I don't know why – they ever changed that but then we uh <clears throat> you can still do top four for draft champions you know yeah. or top 16 or top whatever it would, whatever it would be you could still do it you know because god forbid even even last year for people didn't even care about being top 60 if you were in the top 100 that's all that mattered you know yeah. because and you know people were trying to figure out like where they would be seated but even that was yeah, a pain in the ass yeah, to figure out. You're never going to know. You'll yeah. never know until they put out the bracket. Like, that's the biggest thing is, like, that's the biggest problem with not having the top four, top 16 is, like, you really don't know where you end up yeah. because no one cares. And, like, you could play your your friend in the first round, which you could have easily avoided. If you knew. If there was any. Yeah. Even if they so, made, like, top 64 skip a round or top 16 skip two rounds or something like that, you know, not just make, make us have to play the game. You know, I feel like that's important. And obviously we're going to play the game – you know, against our friends and everything, but I like having to play the game for me. That's a that's an important part of the MCS. Important part, man. Yeah, it keeps you like where you have to grind, like where you have to play mm-hmm. for sure. But, so we patching the armbar tomorrow. That's important <laughs> because I'm not trying to lose the fits. If I lose the fits in another Madden, it's just a shitty Madden. You know, like Madden 18, shitty. You know, I'm happy I made any money off that shit game. You know, but <clears throat> we'll see how the game goes. I enjoy it. I'm having fun. Um, but I appreciate you coming by. Anything else you want to talk about or no, mention? I appreciate you having me on. Yes, because you, I feel you, like, you were the I feel like we were probably in, I feel like we were probably in more agreement than, you know, it would seem. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, at the end of the day, we all just want a good game, really. You know, yeah. I just don't want. I just never wanted to run to be overpowered, but like you made a point that I mean, it's not like it's not bad. <laughs> like it's not like it doesn't work when they pass the ball. You know, it's still the yeah. same shit. You know, and that's part of, part of the reason Wesley was popping. He was using the shit out of Chubb. You know, not giving him the ball, but wheel routing his ass and punching people yeah. in the face. You know, so it's definitely used for for passers as well. You know, but I I never want to run to be good, but it's it's always gonna have its place. Uh, when I won, I ran the shit off the ball. I'll tell you that much. Uh, and pretty much every year, every successful tournament I had, I've definitely run the ball for sure. But at the same time, I hate it because it keeps it. I feel like it keeps everybody to a certain area. You know, I, I don't know. But, yeah, I got you. But like I said, I appreciate you coming on. Sure, we'll have plenty more talks in the upcoming months here as it is Madden season. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, buddy. So yeah, so that's the that series mode. Probably the biggest component for the uh, arm bar, or really just being able to break tackles. Which I mean, I guess I agree with. Uh, I personally feel like the juke works. I feel like I can just right trigger or right stick juke the shit out of the computer. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I can juke the computer. Um, and I don't want the run to be good. I feel like it makes other people, it makes everybody pretty the same skill level. Um. But at the same time, he said that you got to find better run defense. And I think that is something that, that good man players have. Uh, so that's a good point. So I think the arm bar is too easy. I think it should take timing. I think it should take finding the right angle to punch somebody in the face. And I think, shoot, if you do stiff arm somebody, you should slow down. It shouldn't be a turbo like that or some outrageous animation where they're going that much faster when it started you know that's pretty much how i feel about it mcs i'm excited double elimination seems pretty cool i hope they find the right way to do it so it's not uh so spread out from the first place winner playing the winner to loser bracket um i wish there was more money in mcs i could say that a million times i could you know write it on the wall i could spray it in the air Whatever it may be, uh, it seems like this million dollars is what we're going to flirt around as far as money for a long time. So, 
my voice is about gone. I don't know why. I feel like I've been streaming and playing a game for all week. Uh, definitely probably going to need a little rest. But uh, this was the Need a Podcast episode 40. Do got a lot of things, man. Both of the ebooks are already out on Madden Turf. If you guys are in the chat now, you can check them out. If you're on YouTube, check them out. If you're on SoundCloud, check out MaddenTurf.com for the ebooks. Definitely sign my man Boo Painter to uh, Need a Gaming this week. Um, the best 2K player in the world. Going to be the biggest 2K streamer this year. Excited about that. We will talk about more about that when uh, 2K season kicks off as we are expanding to other games, other avenues, and you know other places to get views and attention and, and stuff like that. So for me, just a step in, in growing my uh, my business and the plan and everything. So, But like I said, if you're on YouTube, hit the like button. I had to talk to Mo about the new game. He was pretty much the biggest component for for the arm bar. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I hope all you guys have your mutt teams down pat. Ask me one player you need, Ryan Shazier. If you're get, getting a team captain, pick Ryan Shazier. That's what I asked you. So this was the Need Podcast episode 40. Hit the like button.